was Christianity just the winner among many competing religious claims? These are quotes of professors that are teaching right now, popular professors, okay? People might not know their names, but you can see them when you have Easter and Christmas and you have these specials. These are the people that they're going to have and they're going to interview, okay? Here's a fellow by the name of Bart Ehrman who writes, here's how Christianity really began. There were lots of early groups. They all claimed to be right. They all had books to back up their claims, books allegedly written by the apostles and therefore representing the views of Jesus and his first disciples. The group that won out did not represent the teachings of Jesus or his apostles. Rather, the victorious group called itself Orthodox, but it was not the original form of Christianity, and it won its victory only after many hard-fought battles. A fellow by the name of Walter Bauer in 1934 wrote a book that many quotes called Heresy and Orthodoxy and Earliest Christianity, and he says, Heresy was actually the original form of Christianity in certain regions of the early world and was at least an established minority nearly everywhere. Just a couple more so you get the flavor of this, okay? Stephen L. Davies, professor of religion, he said, For 1900 years or so, the canonical texts of the New Testament were the sole source of historical, reliable knowledge concerning Jesus of Nazareth. Then what happened? In 1945, this circumstance changed. I'm going to ask you to explain that in a moment. Andrew Sullivan, former editor of the New Republic magazine, in the last 30 years we've discovered real Gospels, hundreds of them, that are not the official Gospels, but that were part of the discussion in the early church. And Philip Jenkins, another professor of history and religious studies at Pennsylvania State, said, with so many hidden Gospels now brought to light, it is now often claimed the alternative texts give just as valid a picture of Jesus as the text we have today. And the hidden Gospels have been used to provide scriptural warrant for sweeping new interpretations of Jesus. So all of a sudden, we have these new Gospels and we have a new Jesus, basically, and that's supposed to be the original Christianity and it was suppressed by boys in the third and fourth century. Explain more of what's going on. Well, what's happened is, is in 1945 we had a discovery called the Nag Hammadi Codices. They uh, did discover several extra biblical Gospels. Sullivan's quote saying hundreds is an exaggeration or a hyperbole, I hope, because it's not anywhere near the right number of what we're dealing with. Best I can tell, uh, we have somewhere around 37, 38 Gospels that are in the mix when we have these conversations. And most of them are second century or later. They don't have any possibility of even going back to the first century. So what you've got is kind of this anachronistic move to elevate the status of these Gospels alongside what's going on in, in our first century witnesses, which are the Gospels that we have.